What's up everybody? Uh, this is a new module I built based on a Teensy 4.1. It's basically a sample player that's made for drums. You can manipulate the pitch of the samples, the decay time, there's an onboard filter, there's a reverb, and you can cycle through the different drum kits with the select. It also has some MIDI features as well. I built the circuit boards with uh, my CNC machine with this 0.5 millimeter bit, which took some trial and error to figure out that I needed some really wide traces to make it work, but in the end I was actually pretty happy with the results. So here we have module in the rack. I'm just going to play this generic drum sequence from my hay packs. And uh, we'll start by manipulating the pitch. It goes about two octaves up. And then it goes all the way down to about zero at 12 o'clock. Then beyond that, you're actually playing in reverse. And it goes about two octaves up in reverse as well. And the select knob, it will actually select between the, I think I have about eight different drum kits. And these are separated by folders on the SD card. And this can be modulated with MIDI CC or CV. And the onboard filter is just a simple low pass filter. Same deal, you can modulate it with both CC and CV. And then we have a decay control, which again, CV and MIDI CC can control this. So I have a little LFO patched into the pitch and I'm just bringing up the attenuator. it up pretty extreme it'll start pushing the pitch into the reverse setting then I also have some CV control over the decay which I'm bringing up with the attenuator here hear the sound just completely cutting out because the decay time is so low. I'm going to patch in CV control to the select from another LFO. You can hear the drum kits actually swapping around. And all the drums load at startup, so there should be no delay between swapping kits. So here I have my hay packs and I have this automation lane for swapping the different kits, similar to what we did with CV. You can see this diagonal line here and I'm just gonna unmute it. Apex is rad, by the way. So here I have some automation for the reverb mix. And the reverb is only addressable via MIDI CC. I'm gonna bring that in. You can kind of hear that coming in and out. And in addition to all the onboard controls, those are kind of global. I've added MIDI CCs for all the individual sounds pitches. You can see here, I have an instrument definition file in Hapax that defines all this. So there's all the pitches, we have all the decays, uh, there's the filter, reverb mix, reverb size, there's the kit selection, and there's a voice reset which sets all the CCs back to zero. One thing to note is you, you do need MIDI to get sound out of this. There's no trigger inputs for it. I think this is a TRS MIDI B on this one. 
So yeah, we'll close the video out with a little jam running the Tiny Drummer through some distortion and modulating a couple parameters. And I hope you guys enjoy.